Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Peter. In this video, I'll be making a better tutorial. If you should join me for the first time, kindly subscribe to my channel and put on the post notification bell so you get notified whenever I post new video here on YouTube. Alright, so we we'll go straight to this tutorial. By the way, if you want to, maybe you want to post up your skill, I have a course, a graphic design course, to be in the video description below. And also you can if my tutorial have actually been a blessing to you you can show me love by like by clicking the seller link show me love to be in the description of this video so i won't be dropping video resources um because some people have been using misusing this stuff the resources i uh, you see some people who just come to my channel so recently I discovered I posted the video and it was quite long. The video hasn't even lasted about 24 hours, not even 12 hours. The guy came, watched the video, replicated the same thing. Now posted it on YouTube, replicated the same thing, the same tutorial on YouTube. The me that I actually made the design, my own my own tutorial hasn't actually the video tutorial hasn't lasted about 12 hours on YouTube. And I discovered some people again replicating my design, posting tutorials on YouTube. So, I'm not encouraging. So the first thing I'll be doing now is change the image size to Instagram portrait size, which is 4 ratio 5. Whatever you're doing, just try and make sure you're getting 4 ratio 4 ratio 5. Wow, what am I? Wow. Okay. Something is wrong somewhere. Oh. So just try and get 4 issue 5. So I will have to hide every of my elements there. Then this is my background, so I'll just move it to the back. Okay, so we have this guy there. And let's just hide everything for now. So come to crop. Just make sure you, you can just crop it somewhere around. I can't get four issue five somewhere around you. So there is actually four issue six. But I'll click here and just just move my hand somewhere around you. Okay, yes. Okay. So the next thing is I'll just come to raise the position and just increase. Okay, so we have okay, so beautiful. Then we will just lock this. So the next one is I will try to position my image. So I'll come to crop, then flip it towards the direction. Okay, aside that I will reduce the brightness a bit. Now because the image when I increase it, you notice it's too bright. So I just increase the brightness not too much maybe let's see the one that has is more bright uh, let's let's just try and reduce no I can leave it like this okay so I did increase this the size of our, our model by the way if you join me for the first time kindly subscribe it's not my fault too I, I, I love sharing video resources before but it's, it's really not nice okay so let me lock this unlock this for now the most important thing is you actually understand how the design has been done so Position this one somewhere around here, then I'll take my grid, position it somewhere around here. Okay, now that's a prepared text I actually have ready. So I I think I will just reuse the size and voila, I can keep this there. Alright, so I think the this one is Oh, let's just keep let's just work with it like that i'm thinking probably the model is quite big so the next one is still part of our background 
I have this one that I applied motion blur. Now one thing about me, I don't like I just want don't want this side to just be kind of empty. That's why I just position it here. I don't know how to apply stuff to draw much attention. I don't like scattering all those elements all over my design. So the next one is this one. So we we'll just position this one somewhere around here. Let's see. I discovered my subscribers on YouTube like very designs. That's why I've just been. Now I can't do any other design, but I discovered my subscribers on YouTube here like mostly baby designs. So that's why most of my tutorials have mainly been on birthdays. Because it's something unique to everybody. So I think I can set this to the minus 10. Okay, you can just pop up this alteration a bit. I think. Okay. Okay, so it's just going to help the color. Then is that contrast with about five? Okay, so cool. So we we'll do the same thing for this other one. Let's a bit of contrast about five. I just say but then black and white. All right, so we are almost done. It's quite simple. So the next thing is. So I just adjust the size. Okay, maybe probably. Okay, so let's just log this so we can be caught. Just take with it. So the next thing is then I do this element. Well, too bad I'm missing any resources. I'm very very sorry. It's not my fault. People are being be very very funny. And the name of that guy was I think it's God Power in my TV. Very very funny. As someone was telling me the guy gave you reference. It's not matter of reference. The story I posted on YouTube hasn't even lasted for about 24 hours. The next thing is for you to just recreate my design. So you're not even allowing me to get the watch I'm supposed to get. So So let's see. Okay, let's keep that there. Just as if the guy is just robbing me of my efforts. Stealing is not even allowing my channel to get the the, the right engagement it's supposed to have. So, so send this to the front so I can position this one here. Okay, you can choose to duplicate this and position somewhere, somewhere around here. Okay, so I think I, I didn't even do that in that other design. You need to say it's not. Some flower there. So the next thing is 
this is another sun flower so just reduce the size don't make it too big then you can actually fit the hair of this uh, model now no, not the place I'm positioning it so the next thing is just to bring in my text so we have Alright, so we are done now. The, for this Sandra, what I'll use the font that was used for this time and date, which was Clash, Clash Display, Medium, and Bold for the dates. For the name, I use Clash Display Medium, the name of the model Sandra. For the Happy Bed, I use Clash Display Bold. So, this element I placed there was just this sign the um, over whatever it is in mathematics all right so that's all for this tutorial so let's look at the first one we're using i think here yeah. so i'll just come here save my image and you can save as custom i think it's even better so i'll come to adjustments all right so i will add texture to it not much not much because you when i increase the texture you start noticing look at the texture on the lady's face so that's why we and most times i don't add much texture and i don't sharpen my design to 100 percent i see some designers use sharpen they sharpen it to 100 percent because most times when you sharpen it too much you'll be noticing those textures but i'll just okay you can some sharpen it everything completely here so at times i may leave it at this place and just come to my texture and get rid of some of those check texture before and after okay so then the haze i'll come and i can apply this we'll get rid of all those easy place in the design i can leave it as 15. okay beautiful so the next thing is I'll add green to about 15. So and um, it's contrast me if it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary. Okay, so um if you think there's highlights, the highlights, the white part on the image is kind of much, you can dim it down a bit. Okay, so this is a design, this is half before and after so um i can tamper with the vibrancy beats but not too much vibrant just help with your skin tone before 
before and after so i think the shadows are shadows let me come here and tamper with my shadows let me just shadows just touch the dark areas so let me leave it at four okay so um i guess i'm done with my design i'm done now. so we can save we can save or oh, probably you i will not want to touch the saturation here okay okay i'm i've done with my design so i'll see so let's see when this thing is downloading because so um okay so um let's let's save these two so don't make sure you're not touching it too much when you use saturation it's going to like bring out every of those colors out it's going to bring everything out so okay there's this color mix i want to try um it still has um when you go to global color in lightroom okay so you can just come here and play with or split with 